It's only a few days till Christmas, Chef. Yes, it is. And today we're cooking with something very decadent. A little bit of luxury. Live lobster. Live lobster. What are we making? We're making a asparagus, avocado, and lobster appetizer. Very simple, mm. um, very nice, uh, very rich. Do not take the last sticks off uh -huh. until they go in the pot and oh. they come out. Watch out because it's boiling water. Head first. Well, I put it in. There you go. It's anywhere from 12 to 20 minutes. And uh, <laughs> salt, uh, a little bit of lemon, and then water. That's it. So now it's time to, to make the vinaigrette? Yes. Asparagus, fully cooked asparagus, so they're not crunchy, they're very mushy. Okay. Canned asparagus works really well too. Mm -hmm. Maybe harder to find, but so a little bit of mayonnaise, a little bit of spoon, a little bit of mayonnaise. And this this will be online, so don't don't try to remember all the quantity, this will all be online. A little bit of cream. Whipping cream? Whipping cream. I'm sure. Some fresh did. dill. Oh lovely. Olive oil? Uh we're gonna salt and pepper. Uh-huh. A little bit of lemon. Why do you put your hand out? Catch the seeds there. Oh. So they don't get Good all. Yeah. Go. Oh. So puree the whole thing. A little touch of red wine vinegar. Oh, sorry, uh, white balsamic. Sorry, my bad. And then uh, this is. A little bit of olive oil. Olive oil. Like you do a mayonnaise. Uh huh. So I want to splash everywhere. Very slowly. Let it incorporate. And that's that. Oh, look at Asparagus so, is completely yeah. disappeared. It's nice and creamy. Lovely. So very lovely. rich, very... Lovely. Asparagus and lobster is a very good good match. So this will have to uh, cool off for about four to eight hours. That's so piece, did you resist You grab this, yes. and you take the tail, so, so the take beautiful tail. Tail. Don't hit me in the head, but pull. Pull over the bowl, ideally. <laughs> very good. <laughs> Some kind of old school. I just use my hand and I smush it together like this, and then I grab it like this, and I go like this. Okay, I didn't do it as good as you. I'm done. Help! <laughs> okay. What have you done? No, it's good. It's good. We're just gonna oh, do this. okay. Just gonna oh, do this. Okay. I find it easier and, and it keeps all the splashing under. Yeah, the whole idea is to leave it whole if you can, so it has the look. Oh, a nice. Lovely. Look at that. Now we get to assemble this. Chef Martin has gone to the hardware store and gotten some PVC pipe, just your plumbing pipe. Yep. Cutting up some avocado. Yep. So we're just going to remove it. Pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Remove it, push this aside. So we're going to take some green. This is arugula. 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 Any grocery store so has So we're going to tap it in. A good size. It's for an appetizer, so we want a good size salad. Mm -hmm. We're going to. You can start layering these all over the circle. We want like a whole layer. A circle? Yeah. All, well. You trust me? Yeah. Slicing up the lobster. So, so oh. we're just going to put. You know, four little pieces. We're not trying to make people, our guests, uh, gain weight while they're here. We just want to give them a little bit of luxury, so you can probably feed like four or five people um, off that appetizer. Little lobster in the middle. Now, to get the recipe for this beautiful lobster avocado asparagus appetizer, just go to our website, chbcnews.ca. Click on Okanagan now, and then you'll see OK Let's Eat, and the recipe will be there. Wish Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to everyone from uh, CHBC and OK Let's Eat.